Good evening. The Perth Entertainment District has been hit by another night of violence with a total of five people rushed to hospital this weekend alone. North Bridge assault rates have skyrocketed in the last year. Crime reporter Jerry DeMassey is in North Bridge. Jerry, two more people were attacked early this morning. Yes, and glass bottles were the weapon of choice this time. A woman in her 30s and a man in his 20s were both attacked. They suffered deep lacerations to the face and head. One man is in police custody, another is still outstanding. But as you say, this adds to an already staggering Northbridge assault toll. The latest annual figures show an extra 149 people were assaulted in Northbridge on the year before. A Northbridge footpath sprayed with blood, shared by two victims who police say were attacked with broken glass in a weekend marred with violence. A total of five victims, two of them high profile, co-stars of actor Hugh Sheridan in town for the Perth season of Hair the Musical. Guys, how are you after last night? Everything OK? All oh, good. Sure. We're just ready to get on with the show today. All five attacks happened within a kilometre of each other across Perth and Northbridge. Hugh Sheridan's younger brother, Zachary, was allegedly glassed on the corner of Murray and Barrick Street. The second and third attacks, both on Hay Street, last night's glassings on the corner of Lake and Francis. Why were people out on the street carrying bottles at that time of the morning? Because our police are run off their feet. I don't think putting just extra resources on the beat will help that. I just see it as a spike on the, the weekend. But the figures tell a different story. Assaults in Northbridge are approaching a 10-year high, up 28% last financial year. The entertainment hub suburb copping a whopping 149 more attacks than last year, with figures returning to levels not seen since 2010. And while figures in Perth remain consistent, the suburb trumps Northbridge in volume, with an extra 180 assaults last financial year. Local business owners say they have noticed an increase in violence in the past 12 months, but they can't explain why. They say police presence in the area is good and that officers normally respond fairly quickly. Last night's victims were treated at Royal Perth Hospital and released this afternoon. Three males are in custody over the weekend's attacks, the youngest just 14 years old. Jerry DeMassey, Nine News.